area um, in my room. I'm actually filming on my bed, so yeah, you can see my bed now, but I wanted to switch it up because I know my filming locations can be boring sometimes. So I basically I'm doing a haul video today and I am apologizing because I know I do a lot of haul videos but this one I really wanted to get up and I promise I have lots of hair videos planned for after this video and all that. So I know a lot of you guys do like haul videos which is why I'm doing it but if you don't I apologize and I promise that new types of videos will be up soon. So I recently went to New York City which is what a lot of this stuff is from but I also got some orders in online so I decided I would show you those too. Okay, starting with the online things, I have some things from choice.com and both of the websites that I have things from online are kind of like Asian wholesale-ish websites, so you guys have probably heard of them, but these items are from Choice. The first thing I got is just a plain black and white striped long sleeve shirt and I love stripes. I love wearing them with like green jackets and some ripped jeans and stuff, so I really wanted this shirt because I don't have a black and white striped shirt and it's super soft and it feels like Brandy Melville material and it's nice and long and flowy so you can wear this with a lot and I think this would look really cute with a blazer as well so I really like this one. Also from Choice I got a kimono and it looks like this. It's really pretty. I love the colors. It's, it's more of a fall kimono I would say. Um, it's just white and it has some like navy and pink and like rose. There's even some butterflies on it which I just think was a really cute touch. Also from Choice I got the sweater I'm wearing and it's honestly one of my favorite sweaters ever. It's perfect, it's beautiful, and I love it. And as you can see, it's just kind of like dolman sleeves, and it doesn't go all the way down, but it's cuffed, has some cable knit, and it's really cute, it's really warm, and I really love it. Lastly from Choice, I got a tank top, and I'm not really a huge fan of it just because I thought it would be lined, and it's not. So it's just your kind of classic crocheted lace tank top, and then the bottom has some like different crocheted and it's really cute it's just I don't find myself wearing like open crocheted things like this often because I can't wear many things underneath them to school and I know I could wear like a nude cami or something but I don't really like camis and I don't know I mean this is okay but it's more of a summer like beach cover-up I would say so I don't know it's cute I just don't think I'll be wearing this too often I also have a few items from She Inside. First thing I got is a big sweater and I love big sweaters. I wear them all the time. I've already worn this one like twice and I've only had it for like a week so it's this really big kind of gray and white salt and pepper, I don't know, <laughs> sweater and it's just cable knit and what I love about it is it has like little pockets at the bottom. This sweater is super thick and it's really nice quality and I know I'm going to be wearing this probably every single day in the fall and winter. <laughs> Alright, next thing from She Inside is this really cute but very wrinkly, I haven't ironed it yet, kind of um, tunic shirt. I don't know. It just has a beaded neckline and it dips down kind of low there so I'll have to find something to wear underneath that but it's just beaded and white and then the ends of the sleeves are also beaded and it just kind of goes down. The last thing I got from She Inside is like a trench coat and it's going to be hard to show this so you'll see me with it on or whatever but it's just your kind of khaki double breasted trench coat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it has like a little belt and the like ends of the arms are also kind of belted or whatever but this is really good quality and this is really cute. I feel like a stylish New Yorker <laughs> when I'm wearing this so. Yeah, it's pretty long, but I really like it, and it's probably something that I would wear if I was going to be outside for an extended period of time, because it's kind of difficult to get on and off with like, the belt and everything, but it's really cute, and with some riding boots, this would be great. So moving on to the things that I got in New York, I really didn't get as many as I normally would, but I just wasn't really liking a ton of this stuff, so I don't know. From Urban Outfitters, I got one thing. And it's just this maroon and navy striped, really flowy shirt. I haven't tried this on yet, so hopefully I like it. But it just looked really nice. I love flowy things. And as you can see, the sleeves are kind of like connected into it. That makes no sense. But the armholes, I don't know. So this is going to look really flowy on. And I love navy and maroon together. So yeah, I thought this would be nice. And this was on sale. So I had to do it. Going along with the maroon striped trend, I went to Brandy, and Brandy is either hit or miss for me. I think I like it a lot more in the summer, in the springtime, because once you get to like the fall and winter, everything is just kind of bland. I don't know, I just, 
I just wasn't feeling it. But I do love stripes, like I said, and maroon is my favorite color, so I saw this maroon and white striped um, long baggy t-shirt, and it's super soft, and so I was like, you know, why not? I went to Nordstrom Rack, and I really like Nordstrom Rack, especially because I like Nordstrom, and I don't have one near me at all. Like, the closest one is probably like five hours away, so it's really unfortunate, and Nordstrom Rack is even better because it's discounted. So the first thing I got from there is a like headband, but it's one of those nin nin ninter? Yes, ninter. Winter knit headbands, and I I have a odd obsession with these. Um, I don't know, but this is my favorite one, definitely, because it's tight, and I have a really small head. Like, my head is not normal size. Um, so I'm glad this is tight, and I go to a lot of hockey games in the winter, and this is a necessity, and just living in New York, you kind of need one of these, but Nordstrom Rack also has makeup and stuff, so I saw this Stila kit, and it has, let's see, five eyeshadows, a lip gloss, an eyeliner, and like their lip and cheek like duo thing, and it was only $30, so I kind of had to get it. But as you can see, it has all this stuff in it, and the colors are really natural in the palette. I'll show you. See, the colors are totally colors that I would wear. I know I do have a lot, a good amount of makeup, but that was such a good deal, and I really love Stila, and it's amazing quality, so, you know, I did it. Lastly, from Nordstrom Rack, are also something that I'm wearing. So, <laughs> they're army green pants, and I'm obsessed with them, and they were a splurge, and I... I'm not guilty. I have no shame. They're beautiful. Um, <laughs> they have zippers. They're by Paige Dunham, which is an expensive brand to begin with. These were originally like $250 and I got them for like $80, but I've already worn them twice and they're amazing. I went to Forever 21 and just got some Heather Gray workout crop pants because I've been seeing people in my school with like gray cropped legging things and I always wear my black ones. And I thought they looked really cute with the gray ones. Also from Forever 21, I got some wiener dog hot dog socks because I love wiener dogs. I know you guys might not know this or you might know this, but I'm obsessed. Like, I love them. I need one in my life. And I also am obsessed with pugs. So if any of you guys have a wiener dog or a pug and you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, tweet me a picture of your dog or post it and tag me because I will probably, like, explode with happiness because I am obsessed with wiener dogs and pugs but when I saw these socks and they were only like a dollar fifty I had to do it so yeah I also really like pigs they've been one of my favorite animals since I was like three so um saw this pig loofah and it's like you know you need to you need to come with me and live in my shower Last, but certainly not least, I went to Buffalo Exchange and it's basically like a Plato's Closet type of thing. It's like buy, you sell your stuff there and like buy other people's stuff, but they also have new items there, so it's kind of like a combo. I got myself an Urban Outfitters shirt and it has sold the tags on it when I got it, so that was a plus, but it's just this purple kind of baby doll shirt. It has some lace on the top and the back and it was only $10, so I didn't really know if I wanted it. But it was only $10, so I did it because it was brand new. Um, and it's just it's like a sweater material almost, but it's really cute and I like it a lot. I also got my boyfriend a shirt at Buffalo Exchange, and it was one of the new items that they had there. Just because I saw it and I was like, wow, that's the perfect shirt for a guy. And I don't know if he's going to like it or wear it, but um, I'm going to make him wear it because it's beautiful. So yeah, it looks like this. It's um, gray and <laughs> maroon striped, so what a surprise. Has some blue on it and then some darker gray. My hair is on it. Uh, yeah, but it is from the brand Ambig. I've never heard of it, but the shirt was beautiful and it has a little pocket. So that is everything that I have for you in this haul video. And I'm really sorry that I keep doing hauls all the time. Like I, I, I am gonna be selling more of my clothes on my eBay account. If you missed out on the first time that I did, or if you're looking forward to new things. I'm going to be selling a lot of things soon, so I'm probably going to post a video about that coming up, so keep your eye out for that. Like I said, hair videos are coming up, and if you have any other video ideas for me, because I'm kind of lacking in the ideas department, especially with everything I have going on right now, 
um, definitely leave them in the comments below. I want to thank all of you guys that continue to watch my videos and just post positive comments and like all that stuff because you guys are the reason that I make videos and you make me so happy. So thank you guys so much. I love you and yeah, bye.